In terms of findings on sexual violence, we found clear and convincing information that sexual violence, including rape, sexualized torture, and cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment have been committed against hostages. And we have reasonable grounds to believe that such violence may still be ongoing against those in captivity. With regard to the 7th of October attacks, we found that there are reasonable grounds to believe that conflict-related sexual violence, including rape and gang rape, occurred in at least three locations, namely the Nova Music Festival site and its surroundings, Road 232, and Kibbutz Reim. In most of these incidents, victims were first subjected to rape, then killed. In other locations, such as Kibbutz Kfaraza, while circumstantial information may indicate the occurrence of sexual violence, reported incidents of rape could not be verified. In addition to these specific locations, we also found across multiple locations of the Gaza periphery, a pattern of victims, mostly women, found fully or partially naked from the waist down, with their hands tied behind their back and or tied to structures such as trees or, and poles, and shot. Although circumstantial, such a pattern may be indicative of some forms of sexual violence, including sexualized torture, cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment. At the same time, with regards to Kibbutz Beri, which was severely affected by the 7th of October attacks, with no less than 10% of its population killed and 50 people taken as hostages, we were also able to determine that at least two allegations of sexual violence, which had been widely reported in the media, were unfounded. None of the other reports of sexual violence in Berry could be verified at this point. I pause here and add, Mr. President, that this finding does not in any way legitimize further hostilities. In fact, it creates a moral imperative for a humanitarian ceasefire to end the unspeakable suffering imposed on Palestinian civilians in Gaza and bring about the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages. Continuation of hostilities can in no way protect them. It can only expose them to further risk of violence, including sexual violence. The Israeli hostages and the millions of civilians in Gaza share a common fate. For their common sake, there must be a humanitarian ceasefire now. While I did not receive any reports of rape, interlocutors raised with me instances of sexual violence in the context of detention of male and female Palestinians, such as invasive body searches, unwanted touching of intimate areas, beatings, including in the genital areas, threats of rape against women, and threats of rape against female family members, wives, sisters, daughters, in the case of men, and inappropriate strip searches and prolonged forced nudity of detainees. Sexual harassment and threats of rape during house raids and at checkpoints were also reported, as well as threats of rape if conditions of detention were reported or publicly disclosed after liberation.